Welcome to In Conversation with Himali. My guest Thank today you. is Mahima yeah, yeah. Mehra, Executive Director, Operations All India Council of Human Rights, Liberties and Social Justice. Charter Committee member of Spectrum NGO, whose objectives are education, medical care, women empowerment, awareness of the environment. She is a writer and advisory board member for the Nomad Lawyers team and um, also a founder member of the Himalayan Tourism, uh, the Tourism Board uh, project at Kulu, creating a bridge between those who need help and those who are all ready to, you know, to volunteer and help with their skills. She works on projects related to women empowerment, education, rural development, preservation of culture and heritage. She's also a director at Sroth Alternative Education Center um, at the Tirthan Valley Kulu, initiating the, and she has also initiated the Sunshine Library Project at the Tirthan Valley in Kulu Manali. As if that isn't enough, she's also an avid reader and an artist and I am just wondering how does one wear so many feathers in their caps and yet keep their feet firm on the ground? Welcome, um, Mahima, and thank you so yeah, much for being with us. Um, I think, you know, we can all identify the same strength uh, with each other. Uh, I'm sure every woman, every man, woman, child has the potential, um, you know, but only thing is we don't explore it. We don't value ourselves. And, uh, you know, we just take ourselves for granted that we are just so much so much. You know, um, at a uh, time I, when, I, when we were kids, you know, we used to have so many uh, lectures in, in class and we used to have so many periods, maths, bhi kar rahe, science, bhi kar rahe, art, bhi kar rahe, sports, bhi kar rahe, you know, and then we used to manage all that within that time frame. And I think as, yeah, as we grow older, we tend to lax and we tend to give up and we say, Ab ye nahi ho sakta. so I think if we just have the child back, uh, revive the child back in us, and then we feel that, yes, if we could do it at that age, we can still do it at any age. So it's just time management. And uh, we learn to switch on and switch off uh, when we start the next uh, project in uh, during the day. And I think we can really manage that very well. Very well. So, put. And, um, I'm sure my audience, we are going to take away a lot from Mahima today. So, so how yeah. did the journey to the Himalaya start? Uh, yeah, I'll come to that. Uh, see, what happened was, I think um, uh, I was always into teaching. Um, I started my career with teaching. Oh. And, uh, you know, when the kids were young, it was most comfortable. And uh, that became a passion. And I always uh, felt, you know, that, um, you know, uh, we must connect with uh, people who really don't have the advantage of education. And that led me, uh, you know, to working with, um, uh, you know, small orphanages around my place and, uh, you know, small centers where I would go and teach. And that connected me to the NGO spectrum uh, in Pune, uh, which really, really gave me the impetus of uh, feeling empowered. You know, they really mentored me very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, over a period of seven to 10 years, you know, then I took over as president. And that really made me feel that, yes, we do have the potential. Only thing is we don't explore it. And, um, you know, then I uh, got connected to the Human Rights Council. They invited me to join and we started doing workshops to enlighten people about their basic rights, RTI. Mm -hmm. And that led me to colleges and schools. We started talking, uh, you know, about this subject. And um, I think that stage comes, you know, where that empty nest syndrome sets in and the kids really don't need you so much around. And I started uh, feeling ki up kya. You know, I mean, uh, I've always been in Pune and never really stepped out. And I kind of started feeling the itchiness key. You know, I started looking inwards. Ki, where do I really want to go? What do I really want to achieve? Uh, what are my goals? Uh, you know, and so I started travel. Shuru kiya. You know, started going to various places with kabi friends, kabi relatives, kabi family, uh, kabi I went solo. Okay. And I enjoyed my trips uh, going into the mountains. And, uh, you know, there was a peace and a lot of time to uh, look inwards, explore my own energies. Ki mujhe actually karna kya hai life mein. Uh, you know, and um, that was the phase when I started interacting with a lot of new people, uh, you know, which I had not really given myself that opportunity. 
-hmm. you know like they say that you allow the universe to give you those notifications mm -hmm. and you should accept those notifications you know agar hamare cell mein notification aata hai aur hum usko kholenge hi nahi so how do we know who's on the other side true that so i think um that was the phase when i just let myself explore and connect with my surrounding my environment with the universe and automatically people started uh, connecting with me wow. you know like uh, went to ladakh and i connected with dr sonam wangcho you know oh, it was such yeah. a wonderful experience uh, uh, you know to know what kind of work he's doing the kind of life people are leading in spiti you know we went to bhutan and i connected with the prostration man there um, unknown people and they really influenced you know my thinking ki aapko bahut kuch potential hota hai karne ka life mein but hum ऑपरचुनिटी लेते नहीं है यू नो देन वी कनेक्टेड विदी ये मैं नहीं कर सकती क्यों नहीं कर सकती हम खुद के खुद को ही एक्सक्यूजेस बनाते रहते हैं लाइक यू नो की नो आई कान डू दिस एंड या एंड देन यू नो लाइक मैथ मिस सोनाली गुप्ता हु वॉज फ्रॉम द कल्चरल इंस्टीट्यूट इन द हिमालय एंड ऐसे ऐसे लोग मिलने लग गए एंड देन आई फेल की या दिस इज द प्लेस वेर आई रियली वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर एंड पुट इन मोर टाइम and uh, then i started exploring you know various ngos various institute where i could connect with and mm -hmm. teach maybe just go for 15 days a month and teach and come back uh, mm -hmm. that's the way the journey started uh, you know with the himalayas so would it be fair for me to say that you spent time to understand yourself in order to be able to help others exactly because mm -hmm. you know what um, unless you don't know who you are and what you mm -hmm. want to do how are you going to give direction to somebody else Uh, you know we just support we are i mean you really can't tell somebody or guide somebody ki ye karo ya nahi karo so so yeah. i do know, know that you are um, a volunteer with the himalayan tourism project right so yeah. so what is the himalayan volunteer tourism project and what kind of projects do you do sure um you know coincidentally when i was uh, you know working with some other organizations in the himalayas and they were basically connecting with education and culture um i coincidentally came across mr punky sooth you know and uh, he just uh, we just spoke on the phone and it was so comfortable and he just said ki ma'am hamara ye idea hai where you know we really want to develop tourism but we want to also work uh, and uh, with rural uh, development and can we do some project uh, we have this idea in mind but we really don't haven't really put it you know on to a project format and um, let's let's talk about it and that's how it just started and i i asked him bhai karna kya hai so he said see there are so many tourists who come here and they keep telling us ki uh, you know we want to give back something we have time um, so just guide us can we go to a school and do some voluntary work or can we work with some women's group out here so he said let's put that into a more practical format and into a structured format and uh, maybe connect the tourist with uh, you know the uh, people who really need help and right. that's how himalayan volunteer tourism took birth and um, yeah and then i went to kulu i went to tirthan valley for the first time and uh, yeah and definitely my family supported they never questioned they kyu kyu ja rahe ho like you know i mean that is how otherwise people pull you back you know so yes i must give credit uh, to them that they said ki koi baat nahi you know you carry on do it explore um, nahi jama to no issues come back Right. so i went for a week uh, met the people there we formed the team and uh, yes we started the project on facebook uh, first where we formed a page and we started connecting inviting people who travel to join the page and uh, so automatically uh, they started telling us this is the skill we have like for an example if somebody is traveling to like say shimla and uh, you know he's a solar power expert so he tells us that okay this is what i can do i have two hours of time so we have representatives uh, people who we know and we organize a little workshop uh, for him he just uh, gives his time explains to people what solar power is um, and uh, you know and maybe support them later to guide them how to go about it so okay. basically skilled people helping the unskilled people to gain knowledge which okay. will support rural development right Absolutely. and um, 
so we started connecting people like that um it was basically a connecting platform then we realized that education was really suffering and covid set in you know so we realized bachche bahut suffer kar rahe so we started zoom classes with skilled people oh, okay. you know through zoom we uh, like we had robotics workshops we you know we had counseling on dental care we had counseling on careers and uh, women uh, mel health issues all kind of workshops you know through zoom and uh, that worked very well फिर हमें लगा कि यार बच्चों के पास बुक्स नहीं है यू नो दे रियली नॉट कनेक्टेड विथ एनी थिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम स्कूल बुक्स वॉट दे गेट यू नो हिंदी मीडियम स्कूल बुक्स वी स्टार्टेड लाइब्रेरीज इन वेरियस यू नो लोकेशन वेर दे हैड नेवर नेवर इवन सीन अ स्टोरी बुक अपार्ट फ्रॉम वॉट दे गेट इन स्कूल एंड देन वी स्टार्टेड कनेक्टिंग टीचर्स टू डू स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लासेज विद दीज चिल्ड्रेन बिकॉज दे हैड द बुक्स नाउ Love so uh, that's how it happened uh, you know we connected with the sanskriti libraries mr joginder rohila really showed us the way forward and uh, ek se ek log milte gaye badhte gaye and uh, wow. so that is what we did yeah and homestays is is a, a huge thing that we connected with because we felt that um, you know there are many many homes uh, where people had extra uh, rooms you know and uh, they don't have an alternative income okay uh, you know they dependent on agriculture maybe or uh, you know so we felt that if we encourage tourist to go and stay in homes like these uh, you know uh, where they mix up uh, with the local people uh, learn about the local culture the local cuisine the local handicraft around you know spend time with the children and uh, share your knowledge so it is uh, just a give and take and a win win situation with both so uh, that we started encouraging and we started doing workshops with homestays owners you know to help them uh, build this bridge and feel confident about receiving outsiders you know into their uh, region so yeah this uh, was a very uh, kind of satisfying uh, project that we did um so that's how very, i think we just interesting in dilemma i mean uh, to to uh, because we have one has the space one has the Uh, capacity to kind of have a homestay done, and um, it was an explode so far, and you brought it ahead to them. I'm also interested in finding out. Uh, so for the library, uh, the books that are that that you bring ahead, where do you get yeah. these books from? And if right. somebody wants to to kind of um, donate, I wouldn't want to put donate, but wants to share the books that they have read. How do they get? I mean, how does how does that work? Sure. Yeah. uh see what we realized is that uh, you know when we started meeting people tourists especially who came there and they saw these children okay mm-hmm. it started with a little seed there and they said are you know ye bachcho ke paas books nahi hai but we have so many books lying at home you know there were kids who came as tourists and they used to come and play with these little center that we created there like you know initially so we used to collect uh, you know the local children who used to come there after school and uh, we used to have zoom classes with them and the tourists who came to these uh, you know resorts and homestay is there you they used to come and spend time with these children okay. so they started offering that hamare paas bahut books hain you know we have old laptops which we are not using we have tv which we are not using we have toys which we are oh. uh, the kids have grown up outgrown like you know so hmm. can we send them here that's how it started and uh, those things started coming in you know from people then we started putting post on himalayan volunteer tourism uh, page that those who want to share books and things like that which you don't need uh, you know you can do that we even had a digital library you know where because it was uh, zoom classes everywhere and these kids didn't have mobile phones so we requested people if you have um, obsolete mobile phones maybe like you know you're not using at home and uh, you know to aap bhej dijiye and these kids can use it so that's how these books started coming in uh then uh, we requested people that see if you have your children's birthdays or anniversaries or maybe you know some you want to have a memory for your parents at home and you can donate you know 5 to 6000 and we uh, order it directly with the publication house you all pay to the publication house directly so we get about 200 books in that amount so we can then order specific books you know what is required because when people share they share what they have but sometimes these children in the villages uh, you know they really can't connect with those books so then we started getting amounts from people who started saying that theek hai we don't mind giving that amount right so directly we used to pay to the publication house and the books used to be delivered to various centers that we give the address to 
लाइक देर आर बुक्स इन कश्मीर यू नो अक्रॉस आसाम में बुक्स जा रही हैं अरुणाचल प्रदेश में बुक्स आर रीचिंग उत्तराखंड के ऋषिकेश के पास बुक्स हैव बीन गोइंग सो यस वी स्प्रेड आउट विंग्स टू वेरियस प्लेसेस महिमा दिस इज फॉर पीपल इन इंडिया हु कैन रीच यू एंड यू नो सेंड अक्रॉस बुक्स और फोन और लैपटॉप वट वेर इज बट लिविंग आउटसाइड इंडिया यू नो हाउ हाउ डू दूवर्स reach you and how do they help you i mean help in this yeah. project oh, exactly because see we have a lot of people who order uh, things for us on amazon okay. okay so directly what they do is if we need toys like it's christmas you mm-hmm. know so they order toys and though they reach our center in tirthan they order books on amazon they come there okay you need stationery products they order on amazon it reaches us oh, so or okay. they have relatives in india uh like a gentleman uh, we needed uh, to sponsor an ambulance during the covid times in uh, shrinagar so uh, we could not get the amount directly transferred uh, because of the financial constraints so he requested a relative in india to uh, send it to us and we in fact sponsored the ambulance uh, you know oximeters and oxygen uh, in a requirements in shrinagar in those days or oh, we've donated blankets you know things like that whatever help people required so uh, people living abroad have done it through that right so for my audience that is watching the um, uh, mahimat uh, speak about how we can uh, contribute and uh, you know in our ways uh, i'll be adding on the links in the description and if you would like to contribute whatever it is you could connect with her through those link uh, thanks yeah. mahima for sharing this with us and um, i would also like to know that i i know that um, you write so how did you get into writing and and why why the subject yeah uh you know sometimes uh, things just happen but you mm-hmm. must allow them to happen to you you know it's like we keep all our doors shut and we don't allow the sunlight to come in and then we right. say ki andhera hai okay <laughs> so this is what happened you know when i was working across all these places uh, you know especially remotest uh, regions you know and uh, i came across people who were doing wonderful work and nobody really knew about them you know chote chote gaon mein they are influencing maybe 50 families or 100 families you know and uh, that whole village is getting influenced by their work but nobody really knows about it and uh, that is when it started itching me ki you know somebody must talk about them and it must come out somewhere and um, coincidentally imtiaz ulla was part of our himalayan volunteer tourism team and he runs a nomad lawyers website so i discussed with him that uh, can we put up uh, you know something about these people so that at least if uh, people like these need more help or csr funds or some kind of support or yeah. technical support you know if we write about them somebody will connect to them hmm. so he was thrilled and he said definitely why don't we start a vertical where uh, you know you write specifically about uh, unsung heroes of india you know and uh, so that is how the project started so i do four stories every month so every week i submit one story and um, so it's not just something that i pick up or i hear from somebody uh, because you know there is a human connect like how you are connecting with me there has to be a human connect with somebody you are talking about so i if somebody refers somebody i connect with that person mm-hmm. i talk to that person or on the phone or via zoom if possible i understand their whole journey and especially the turning point moment in their life right. you know because that is what will go, is going to inspire and motivate somebody else who wants to follow that path um, you know specifically uh, mali these days uh, the age group of 25 to 35 you know the millennials mm-hmm. are highly highly motivated generation you know they are highly agree. qualified yes yeah they are, they have their degrees they are in very well paid jobs and especially you know now because of work from home yeah uh, these people are really wanting to contribute yes. and bring about a change in india you yeah. know but sometimes they don't know who to connect with and how to go about it Totally. you know and um, sometimes the people feel that are humko koi uh, you know inheritance nahi hai ya koi fund nahi hai how do we do something so i felt that if we write about people who started from scratch with nothing you yeah. know and uh, and give them a direction ki yaar you read about these people you know and you people have the advantage of uh, education and knowledge and maybe their salaries also if you join up with these people you can guide them to move forward Yeah. so that is how um the writing part started and uh, where can we read, um these these stories where can we read them sure. Sure. 
So it is on the website of nomadlawyers.org. And uh, then we start posting on Facebook, various links on Instagram, on LinkedIn. So all our team members do that simultaneously. And then we start uh, sharing, you know, further. So the news spreads. And, um, you know, uh, one thing, uh, it has really humbled me, Himali, you know, when I've connected with these people, we like, you know, oh, we've done this, we've done that. And when you connect with these people in the most rural areas, and you see how much they've done. Uh, really? You know, Chevang uh, Northfell, North I'll tell you about this gentleman, he's called the Iceman of India. Uh, okay. He lives in Ladakh and he has made artificial glaciers and he's actually transformed the agricultural landscape of Ladakh. But he's a Padma Shri, uh, but we hardly kind of know about him. So people like that has really changed my mindset that, you know, we haven't done anything, we have so, yeah. <laughs> to take that step ahead, really. Uh, thanks, Mahima, for that. And and uh, what are the other education-related projects that you're doing at present? Um, yeah. I, um, uh, see, like uh, when I went to Ladakh, uh, you know, I um, through the Human Rights Council of India, uh, they uh, connected with me and things just happened. You know, um, they uh, requested that, can I, uh, you know, hold, uh, we met, the Maha, we went to the Mahabodhi uh, Learning Center, uh, Mahabodhi Residential School in Leh, and uh, through the Human Rights Council, I connected with uh, Venerable Sangha Senaji, uh, who, who's a monk. And his story really, really inspired me. And I saw the whole institute and uh, the chairman of the Human Rights Council uh, requested that since you're there, can and there's uh, uh, the International Peace Day coming forward. So right. why don't you request uh, Guruji to, uh, if he can host the International Peace Conference there. Beautiful. And uh, this was last year in September. And that's how I started working with the Mahabodhi Center there. And we held the International Peace Conference. And there were people who came in from various parts of India and abroad. Uh, and it was a very, very successful event. Really and um, so, yeah, and uh, so I'm working with them. Those children there, there are about 580 children uh, with the principal oh. of the school. And we're trying to set up a robotics uh, center there. We're yeah. trying to raise funds. Uh, so uh, if anybody really wants to help and they're all people from the remotest villages, uh, the children from remote villages of Ladakh, they're studying there. So it's all run through charity and donations. So we're trying to open up a robotic center for those children because they're highly, highly uh, enthusiastic children and they have the potential. Okay. So um, that is one. Then uh, Spiti, uh, we connected to Planet Spiti. There's a young girl who's gone there and started a school. Her name is Portia. And uh, she started a learning center. So we're trying to help her uh, run the center through Zoom classes and upgrade those children. And a fascinating center is called Aravindam in uh, Delhi, run by Dr. Lokesh Abrol. A story I wrote about, I wrote about him. Um, he was one of my uh, stories and that's how I connected with him. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, that center, Imali, is like the Basti children. You know, they don't have any activity to do after school hours and their parents are all working. So mm -hmm. this is the time they get um, off track, you know, into something which they sure. shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. so Dr. Abrol gets them to his center and has started a cultural center for these children where they learn um, uh, instruments, uh, heritage instruments, uh, the classical singing, classical music, classical dance. And these children have never got access to all this uh, art forms because city children go to yeah. some class and learn all this. But yeah. what about these children? You know, so this is what he has brought our Indian culture and heritage to these children who never had the opportunity. Um, so what we are doing now is having a cultural amalgamation, uh, taking these children from Aravindam to uh, Spiti. We, are, we have this project which we are going to do in June. We're taking these children to Spiti, connecting with Porsche's children. So 40 children from Spiti, oh okay, and 40 children from Aravindam are going to learn the cultural heritage dance forms and art forms in Spiti and they are going to perform in front of monasteries. This is my and dream. this it's whole amazing. thing is going to be made into a documentary film which we want to spread and have this as a yearly event. You know, so children from one center to second center, third center, whoever connects with us. Uh, people who don't have the privilege of doing it, we are going to take them like next year, maybe to Kashmir, 
the third year maybe to Ladakh, the fourth year maybe to Sikkim or Gangtok or Arunachal Pradesh and blend the local children from there, from the villages and spread Indian art and culture there and give them an opportunity to learn like maybe a, a Karnatak song for a child who's living in Arunachal Pradesh. This is and uh, yeah, I mean, so this really, is what we're doing. Really hats off to you all. I, you know, incidentally, I'm reading this book, which is called Human, and uh, it talks about how today the world is not as bad as it is projected to be. Uh, we only hear about what is wrong, but there is so much good that's happening all around us. And this, this much good wasn't happening in the past. So we always said that, oh, the past was better, but no, it's right now, which is way better than what we have already gone through. And that happens only because of people like you all, who uh, take the step ahead to spread so much of love and positivity. I, I can't thank you enough, really. Um, but before, before I say what I want to, I would like you to um, leave a little message for my audience, please. Oh, yeah. You know, message is uh, basically, I think, you know, just uh, be compassionate. Um, think of how you can bring harmony. Uh, see, it's like looking at the glass full or looking at the glass half empty. You know, like what you said. So there is a lot of happiness around. There's a lot of peace around. You just have to go and look for it and allow it to come into your life also. And once it comes into your life, then you share it with people around. So, you know, there is a lot that you can really do, even if you're just a housewife, just, a, a, you know, a, a person who's working in the office, but you can definitely, um, you know, put a lending, a, lend a hand out and uh, pull up somebody, you know, who needs a little bit of support. And if we all work together, definitely the world is going to be a much, much, much wonderful place. So, um, yeah, um, I think you just put yourself out there and the universe accepts you. That's a beautiful That's my message, uh, my audience. It's time for all of us to step ahead. Uh, whatever little way that we can reach out, let's let's try to do it. Uh, Mahima, thank you so very much for talking to us. You are indeed an inspiration. And um, um, you, you know, through your write-ups, through the, the way you were telling us about, the, you know, the things that, that your organizations are doing, it is only tell, letting us know that there are good things happening around us. Um, only thing is, we do not know how to take that step ahead. We do not know how to, how to, you know, I, I may want to help in terms of, you know, talking to the children and teaching them English, but I don't know how to go about doing it. So perhaps you may want to cover in your writing somewhere where you guide people on how they can contribute also. Thank you sure. very, very much. And uh, it, it is, it is uh, my, my absolute um, uh, good luck that you've agreed to talk to me. I think I think we just connected with each other and we're all doing our bit. Thank you so much, Imali, for giving me this opportunity. And I'm sure, that, uh, you know, when your audience, uh, my purpose is basically uh, talking about the, you know, the organizations which need help, you know. So if uh, people can help through your channel and the work that you're doing, basically you're connecting people to, you know, where help is required. Absolutely. So uh, a great, great, great thank you to you for giving everybody this opportunity. Thank you, Imali.